Hello, this is Kelly uh, from Root Pursuit, and today is part four of our Victorian planner journal. And we are going to start out with just playing around with this image right here. Kind of, um, it's it dominates like the blue and the pink, and I want to bring some other colors in there. And so I added this little red. And I make, I used a, which I hardly ever get to use these, but <laughs> my glitter pen. I just love this color. I don't know what you would call it, but it's sort of like a pinky purple. And, but it's got a hint of like gray undertones in it. So love that. And I was taking this old, very old book page and playing around, if I can get this out of here, playing around with that my handwriting some things i used this brown um, zig archival um permanent it's called pure pure brown so and it's 05 oops i just bopped it right into the camera try this 05 <laughs> and so yeah that's kind of fun and if you make the mistake, you just flip it over and use the other side of the paper. So it's actually really handy to make labels, the edges of papers. I did use this for the word planner, and I have it around here somewhere. I don't know. I lost it. But anyway, I have this thing. This is an eight digit. I know they do have some 12 digits, but it's got every single letter in the alphabet and every number and a few symbols like... Um, Hashtag or pound symbol. That's what they used to call it. <laughs> uh, the time symbol, the dash, the period, probably a comma. What else? Dash, period, slash, times. So, yeah. Oh, it looks like they have different symbols. Because this one's got a hashtag and this has a star. So it's got actually different symbols depending on the location in here, which I never noticed before. So there's a dollar sign on the left, which makes sense. And yeah, so this one, what is that? I don't know what that symbol is. This one right here, it looks kind of like a star. I feel like I should know what that is, but I don't. Anyway, this they also have a 12 digit. I got this on Amazon. I'll probably put the link in the description below. Very handy. And it's got a nice font. Uh, this I have another one. It's just a number one and the font is slightly different. So that comes in handy for when I'm doing different things, but they're approximately the same size. Um, I got this one first and then when I found out they had the letter one, I was like, ooh. So that does come in handy sometimes it's kind of a pain to twist them all around so if you if i do it i try to make sure to punch, stamp not punch stamp a bunch of them to make it worthwhile for putting the word out okay so i'm gonna glue this on because i like this and i did it with that gel pen and i just cut that out and now i'm putting it on this little red label so there you go we're gluing something down we're doing it uh, having a lot of fun with this and as we get further into the book, I'll show you what I worked on last evening after I was done with part three. Because I feel like some of it is kind of tedious. It's like, I mean, I enjoy it, but probably not fun to watch. <laughs> so, but this is definitely a planner. So, so fun. Ah, it was on my lap. <laughs> I was like, I just picked a scrap up off my lap and there it is. <laughs> just wants to be upside down there it is so I don't know I thought it looked that word looks kind of funny to me maybe it's because it's all caps or something and I don't really see that word in all caps that often I don't know and then this is funny but her hat or scarf on her head I didn't think it looked very Victorian so I'm actually going to cover it up with this with this flower I know at first I was going to put it down here I was like oh that looks pretty and then I was like, no, I'm covering up her headscarf. That's what I'm going to do. How did I? Oh, yeah, I had it like this. I just like that better. It's a little kooky, but sometimes I like things to be kooky. And I want you to know this flower. Ooh, these came like this, and I made it into this. 
So that was another thing I did last night that you probably didn't want to watch. Uh, yeah, I fussy cut it, cut it, it, I cut it, it, and I fussy cut it, and then I, um, you know, inked around the edge. Big difference. Lots better. So <laughs> these stickers are actually a lot of work because I gesso them all, dry them, and because they were high gloss, now they're not. They just look. Oh, my ruler just fell down. Locked my drawer. Okay. We're going to put this on. I kind of had it figured out so that this little stick thing, stem, that's what they call them. And then that rose would be right about there. So, there we go. I like her. I like her like that. I just do. Isn't she pretty? Okay. I made her eyes blue, too. I don't know if you can see that. They're blue. I colored them. <laughs> She's just in black and white, and I thought, she needs blue eyes. All right, so that was silly. Um, I had something here. I think that's when I started this whole thing. Um, I was going to, I had something for there. Where is it? Oh, no. I, lo I lost it. I lost it. For some reason, when I get goofy, I, my grammar just goes to heck. Heck in a handbasket. It's probably on the floor, under the table. I could probably find another one. I'll just find another one. They're probably easy to find because they're in this little drawer and they're black. So that stands out because most of them are white. So that one says learn. Who knows? Maybe I'll find a different one that I like better. And lots of be creatives every day, but that won't fit. Not you, not you. I know, aren't these fun? I could just pop a inspire on there. I think it's too big though. Scoot over. What's happening? It's probably like stuck to the back. No, it isn't. I mean, I could do that. Ooh, this one's fun too. I don't know if it'll match, but it, I just don't want it to say June anymore. Um, it could, I could put remember. Ooh, I do like that. Okay, some of these are good for this. I'll, I'll keep them. I'll keep them. They kind of make sense for a uh, planner journal. Okay, putting these back in here. I know that's one of my things I'm gonna go through and pull a bunch of these out and say, hey, are you good for a planner? And I think that looks good just like that. Just like that little pop of blue. I'm not even, I'm not even gonna ink it. What? Crazy talk. Right after I glue this, I'm gonna find my little label that I wanted to put on there. Both of them look good, so that's fine. Got a lot of ink on my fingers. I got smeared ink. Well, it's grungy. So there you go. <laughs> there you go. It was just too tiny to be found. Okay, letting that go. All right, so we got a cute little label on our notepad. Lots of fun little papers in there. Now, the one thing I wanted to do with this is, I just am not crazy. Can you pop open? There you go. Just kind of use your muscles. And then it pops this way. I'm not going to pop it back open. I'm not going to do it. Okay, you can move aside. Just move aside. So the great thing about this kind of journal is I can actually take a page out and work on it. Okay, that wasn't good planning. My alarm went off right in the middle of the video. Okay, sometimes you got to attend to business. Okay, so I would like to find some, some stuff, some paper. <laughs> that word that you talk about all the time and you're playing with that's everywhere yeah that's the stuff that would look good on this page or do I want to go really frou-frou um, this color might be nice so it'd be like that or this one or something totally different like this one Not quite. This is really different. I already have pink on that page though. Too much pink. Maybe not too much, but enough. Plenty. I don't know why, but I gotta hanker in for a little red on this page. And I wonder, maybe this would work. This is like a dark pink red. So that would be color. 
yeah, I think that's it. Okay, move this aside. And then, okay, so this is what I figured out. <laughs> I, I think when on the video, which one did I do? I did, so this is like a very interesting process. So I like, I put one side on, punch the holes, and then put the other side on and punch the holes. And I thought, ooh, that's a little time saving step, which technically it is. And then I, and then another thing I did was I put on, I glued on vellum. So you can kind of see through. So you can see some of the ledger through it. And on this side, you can see through. And then you don't have to, you can glue both sides on and then do the punch. So I did both punches at the same time. So that worked out really well. This paper is old. It's from the 1860s. It's, and some of these are really thin. And the idea of this planner is that you'll be able to reuse it from year to year. So I have got a lot of ideas for how to do that and make the planner sort of evolve and with you. But these pages are very fragile and a three ring binder, if they're being flipped often and frequently, they need to be strong. So it's gonna be really important, I think, that all of these pages are reinforced. So then, then, I know I kept just like this process process kept evolving. <laughs> I also thought, oh, hole re reinforcements. But let me tell you, the only hole reinforcements that I could find to fit this, because they're not standard, because this is a smaller hole because it's a smaller address book. So I had to make my own. And I did that with, with um, this hole punch, which is smaller than your standard hole punch size and then this circle punch and you put those together and you get hold on <laughs> you get one of these tiny bits so a it takes a long time to make those b they kept flying all over the place and then i have to make another one because when you punch them out i finally figured out i could you know kind of oh look it looks like i have a bruise but I don't, it's ink. <laughs> so at any rate, I finally figured out I could cover the punch while I, and then that worked. And it couldn't go too far. But anyway, doing both sides of this paper, it looks really cute, but that was too much work. I'm not doing that again. So I finally figured out another way that's even faster. And that way is to take, <laughs> one sheet da -da -da, and fold it in half like so i can't even use my trimmer we're gonna we're gonna make it straight today it's gonna be crazy i don't know why this thing confuses me it's always backwards from all the other trimmers i've ever had in my whole life and you think it would be good because i'm a lefty but it just confuses me Okay, and then I'm going to do a little extra because I got to do the same, same because these aren't quite long enough. And I, I'm going to cover the whole thing. That's just what I'm going to do. I think I need a little more. A little more. A little more. You can measure it. It would work, work really nicely, probably. So one of these ends is the right length. <laughs> oh, I'm so funny. All right, we'll do it this way. And I figured something else out about being left-handed. Whenever I go to fussy cut, so I take my scissors, and this is hilarious. Like, let's say I was going to cut out these scissors, and I go this way. But guess what? That covers up what I'm fussy cutting. Because people use their right hand, but they start at the left because then they can see what they're cutting. <laughs> so, so I kind of have to go from the other side and I have to remember that. Cause I'm like always thinking, I can't see what I'm cutting. Oh my goodness, Kelly. Yeah, it takes me a little time to figure things out sometimes. <laughs> okay, so now the reason I didn't do this originally was because I'm gonna cover up my holes. And then I won't be able to see where to cut it, right? 
Mm -hmm. So, what I figured out, I hope this works. I might have to just cut around this a little bit. I might just actually just do that. Ta-da! And fixed it. Okay, I need such a small piece for here. Does this match? Yes. Same, same. So, how much? Are you even in screen? Oh, yeah, you are. Okay, so we're just going to cut that straight. <laughs> so, we fold her over. Let's glue it on. So, in order to avoid getting glue where the holes would be, I just kind of go along this edge and this edge this edge and this edge along the bottom and then I go in between the holes ha ha now I'm only going to be able to do this one side so we'll see how that goes and then we'll have to flip her over and I really don't want to glue down any of my notebook so no 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 None of that. Don't glue down yet. I gotta get in between on this one. Don't dry on me. Don't do it. There we go. And then we can glue on this little piece. Now that looks too short to me. Sure as heck does. Okay. So now I'm just going to glue here, and here, and here. Oh, I can glue the whole thing. There's no holes in there. Silly, silly, silly. You're so silly. Okay, so now, Kelly, you covered up the holes. I know, but that's what I'm saying to you. I figured it out. How to do it. Use your jet plate. Ha. <laughs> ah. Uh-huh. <laughs> Here's my paper clip. Okay, and then I just take a paper clip and I take my hole punch, which I put, and then I dumped all my pages right on the floor. I sure did. I'll get them in a minute. Okay. Punch. Punch. So as you can see, I mean this part is a little bit time consuming. But I am using like some thicker paper as pages that I put in there, like cardstock pages. That's a little off. And so, yeah, now I have a reinforced page. Let's put it in, see how it looks. Take you out. Okay, so now you can scooch away. Go up here. There we go. That is our page and it's looking very good very very good so we got that something's gonna go in here I don't know yet what is gonna go in there something wonderful I imagine <laughs> oh sometimes right okay so I do want to have some tabs do we do tabs at this point? I think so. We can put some tabs on. I'm not going to put pat tabs on every page. I know I'm not going to do that. And I'm not going to put any more tabs than these, but I do want some tabs on. So let me see here. I think just upper left for the first one. So, And then I can always add or the person who gets the journal can always add some little words from like doing something like this, so they can create their own and then put them right on here. And then you can go right to the place that you need. So yeah. So I like that tab. That's a good tab. Does this one need a tab? Probably. Maybe a blue one? That looks good. 
All right, this time I'm gonna glue both sides. It's gonna be great. Yeah, yeah, glue both sides. Good thinking. And this one maybe in the middle of the page. Sometimes this location kind of limits um, things, but we'll just work around it, right? Yeah. Okay, pages. Pages that fell on the floor. Hello. I got them. It's no problem. Arm no ball. Maybe this one needs a lower tab, like this tab. Glue on both sides. And I have a lot of this Victorian sort of. Um, it's this, but it's also all of these. So I have a lot of those borders. So I'm going to go along the top. And I think that's going to, I'm going to put a lot of those in this journal. You know what's interesting is it ends up being, and I have a feeling this is what's going to happen, is the pre-made ephemera is not going to come into play very much. But it might come into play some. So I've got three tabs, so that's good. Let's see. I'm not sure I want to put them in any of these yet. I don't see why I couldn't, but for now I'm not going to because I'll I'll be spacing these out. This one definitely not because it won't work. This one, I think I was playing around. I don't know if you do Ra Rachel's Roxy's Weekly Challenge and I made this little and it was supposed to go on here, but now I can't find it. But at any rate, a tab's not going to work for this one. Okay, so I've got this one. This would be nice for a tab. I just want to make sure it's nice and different from this one because it's so similar. So I'm going to put it down low and I'm going to put it a different color. So like this is different enough. There we go. Yeah, these pages are very thick, double-sided. So they worked out really, and they're just really pretty papers. I'm not really sure because I got them like in a miscellaneous kind of a junk thing. Who would get rid of this paper, right? I know. But somebody did, and I snagged it. Yep. Oh my goodness. So stuff like that. It's going to look so cute. I know. All right, and then these pages will go in between the thicker pages. So that makes sense. Now what? So this is one thing. I think I have enough pages to play with, and if I need to go back and create more, then I will. Oh, this is going to be handy. That's a door. That is a door. But that will be really cute. Not you. Like this all the way. So then you can write in the individual individual sections. So you could put like reminders or anything. Anything you would put in a journal planner. <laughs> in a planner. So all right. I think that looks cute. Is it too plain? Maybe on something that's like I don't know. Can't decide. Not bad. You do it on this. Cause this one, this is a little thin. I might have to reinforce this side. So we've got this paper and then that. That's kind of nice. Okay, let's do it. And then we can just, this one's actually long enough, so that's handy. Hopefully it's wide enough, which I think it is. That's not, that's not a scissors. That was a whole bunch. Can do it. Now I'll fold this thing in half. I really needed to um, score it. That would have been better, but I didn't. I didn't do it. This one's a little thinner than the others. Yep, 
still does the job. It's still a little long. That's okay. We'll trim it off after we've glued it. So again, um, we'll just glue it right in the center since this one's a little thinner. Right along that edge. Our glitter glue works really well for this. Right along that edge on the bottom and down because I have to trim some off and then in between. And then I can only do one side at a time. That's okay. So get it right up there. Nice. Well, I glue that side down, so it's just down. It's going to stay there. It was probably excessive glue anyway, right? Yeah, you know it. Okay, take my template and my paper clip, which I did a little I spy right through there. I think I could put this right in the middle. That'll work. Sure can. Okay. Now punch some holes. Great, did it. So we got another page, more hole punches. Okay, I think we've got those reinforced. I'll probably do these on my own time. So all of these need to be reinforced. I think we're gonna move on to the next step, which I'm a little bit excited about. Now just where did I put those? Okay, so I found all these pieces, and basically what we're going to do is um, we've got, like, different categories of, like, this one says breakfast, lunch, and dinner, so, like, it would be, like, a recipe plan thing, so we've got those. We've got some planning things that say, like, now and then later, so those are fun little ones, little writing spaces, to-do lists and more just lots of different things like that checklist here's another now and later circle ones I put circles together and then more checklists so what this does for us is do writing spaces circles and these can all go together and those more little writing spaces circle ones and then and I thought all those kind of looked like they would work in a Victorian one and some of these just won't like I don't think any of these will um, I'll save those for my planner and then because the one I have is like more modern stuff um, this says field notes and noted so um, I don't know that's a maybe I would have to distress those a lot so I'll put those in a maybe pile, this rainbow one, probably not. Purple and pink, probably not. So um, let's see if we can find any others. We've got this cute ideas one. I, I'm not really crazy about using any kind of sparkle reflective stuff. This one looks too modern. I've got these to use. I was just hoping maybe some of those would work, but who knows, this one, Probably not. <laughs> no, no. The plain ones, maybe. That one might. This one, oh, that's cute. That one would work. That's a little checklist. I think these would work. Um, not those. And then not the sparkly ones. So I might bring back out. Um, that one's not bad, but no. Uh, maybe the pink. I'm not going to bring out purple. I don't really. It's just. A little too much. I could cut these off too and make them separate so I was just using this part of those. That's a that's a possibility. So yeah either way I would have to sort of ink these up so maybe I'll work on those. I've got this one and I actually had used this for like a door so you put a little brad there but and actually I could still use it as a door but then each of these is like a little writing area so we can put that on one all of these extra pieces from the ledger and the grid paper this fun scrapbooking paper these can all be used 
from that. I've got this cool little, is that, I think these are post-it notes. I did ink this one up, so I think it looks a lot better. <laughs> but uh, yeah, so we shall see. I've got other things back here. Let me just unclip these, see what we've got. I thought this paper would actually work as like a writing area. Some old receipts, some old like, uh, what are these like? Oh goodness, I think these are, what's that card game? that they played bridge maybe canasta that's what it was here's another little writing area with some stuff on it um yeah so let's get started making some of those i'll just do a quick one and then we'll do most of them in um another video because i don't think we're gonna have that much time we'll see we shall see Okay, so I've got that. I think that's so cute. It's adorable. And then we could do this ledger paper next to that, and that would kind of blend it in. Although, these are really gonna be, where's my little booklet situation? Oh, drawer, don't fall out drawer. I had a, oh, don't worry about it. Just put it somewhere. That's how you lose stuff, but whatever. Okay, um, yeah, I need the cutter. I'm going to cut these. I mean, I guess we don't have to. They could be torn. Yeah, we'll just do torn. Torn to torn pieces. Like two of those? Yeah, so it'll be like, we'll just make it, it like the same. Same, same. Oh, I like that side better. <laughs> so like two of those. And then they kind of make it easy for doing like a checklist or something like that. I just want this to be a little more, more like that shape. Okay. So there we go. So I'm just going to glue those down. I am ready to glue. Some of these could be like inspiration for keeping you organized. So I think that's kind of a neat idea. Or like organizing tips that you want to remember. Ooh, got a little smeary. So those are down. Do I want to flip this up? I think I do. Flip it up. Plenty of glue, and then there we go. We can always use this spot for a label of some sort. Are there any like tall, skinny labels? We'll just pick it out just because it's fun. Fun to do. I mean, it would have to be like sideways style, or we could do this style. Or we could do really big. Not really. <laughs> Not loving it. Oh, that's really pretty. Turns out I have no idea what I want to do. Right there. I'm just going to leave it. It could be decorative, actually. I could do this lady. Some of those. And I'll probably gesso it up. Gesso it up. Something about that. It's not... I don't know why the shape or something isn't... I don't know. Something will go there. Maybe like a lady or something. A person. That could work. Of course, I have these dots all over the place. All right. So that's kind of the beginning. And in the next video, we will do lots more of that. So, all right. Well, if you're interested in seeing more videos, you can always click subscribe and you get notified when I uh, release a new video. And as always, thanks for coming along and I'll talk to you later.